And welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6 Expert, where in between the episodes we now have obsidian dust automatically getting processed, um, we got diamond dust automatically getting processed, and then we're ending up with refined obsidian in this metallurgic infuser. Oh, still a bit of uh, fiddly crafting to get all of these going. Um, we could of course be enrichment chambering our diamond dust and our refined obsidian to get more out of it but of course the recipe for that is oh, that's the enriching factory enrichment chamber the the recipe for that is slightly changed and requires us to get into a building an industrial squeezer so we're gonna hold off on that just now uh, let's just put my field of view back to to the the speed two levels yeah that's that's better so this is going to be just running away filling up with refined obsidian which is nice, uh, which means we can now finally craft this thing. We do of course need structural glass. I believe that that should actually be pretty much auto-crafted. Uh, if we decide we want to craft this, yes this is all auto-craftable. So that's going to craft that. I actually think we're out of crafters so we might have to get another one of them. Uh, so that's that part. And then, then we need red laser lens. Okay, which needs a little bit of latex and a dissolution chamber. Right. Which, unless we want to craft another dissolution chamber. I mean... Ah, oh, don't, don't do that. Do we want... We probably don't want a dissolution chamber per recipe. Uh, it was mentioned that... If I keep going this route... We're going to need a dissolution chamber per recipe if we don't sort out the liquid auto crafting, which I just haven't looked at. Do we not still need to do that if we don't have locked recipes? I don't really want to lock it because it's going to... I mean, we could try. Because oh, this crafts... We probably want some more of these in advanced control circuit. Like, if we ask for one of them, does everything go into that crafter like it's supposed to? I can apparently craft one. It's gonna, it's gonna take a while though. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Oh, it's gonna be night, and I'll have to sleep, or everything stops. Um, it'll be interesting to see if things go into the right place. If they do, then we should probably sort out <laughs> the liquid auto crafting. So, red dye should be easy. Glass, and it could be any other glass. That should be cool. And latex. We've got latex. Yeah. We've got latex, that's not an issue. Oh, and we've got latex here as well getting produced. So that's not too bad. I should I should sleep though. Oh, and I put more elevators because I was with the speed boost, I was kept finding it really hard to actually hit the right elevator. So uh solves that problem. And I think it actually looks kinda cool too. But hey, I will wait for this crafting to finish and organize Organize the recipe for this stuff. That should be not too bad. Okay, so the, the advanced circuit craft did work. But we might want to fluid. I might I might make the fluid crafting stuff. Um, the issue with it was it only crafted one of those circuits. Um, because I think it filled this recipe first instead of doing this one so we actually lost yeah and i've got plenty of blank slates so that kind of sucks so maybe locking the recipe would prevent that from happening so maybe kind of dumb i wish the recipe was slightly different so i wouldn't do that but that's okay uh so i'll have to go back and fix that um but it would be good to figure out the <laughs> refined storage fluid crafting because i'm sure it's not even that bad we can get like a fluid storage block um, actually, I don't think we can. I haven't quite got to the dimensional storage stuff. This doesn't actually look too bad. Strigo's higher binding. Um, let's have a quick look. Strigo's higher binding. It needs purple chalk. We haven't got purple chalk yet. So I can't really do that. Although that's, yeah, one of the next quests in the magic section, so yeah, maybe we'll look at doing that, because storage drives would be nice. Um, a fluid interface. Oh, unless we can just 
connect these to tanks. Uh, well, this is a decent reward. <laughs> 256k fluid storage parts. That's very handy. So we could make make a storage block instead. Let's get let's get one of them. Um, what are we putting in it? I guess some latex. But somehow we put fluid in this. So I've got my fluid grid. Um, that goes there. Okay. We have a fluid interface. Now there was no like, there's no other way we hook fluid stuff up. Not that I can see. So I assume we just put like a storage block and then do we have to put a fluid interface? Or do we put a fluid interface? Oh, I'm not sure. Um, because this could probably just go down here, right? Like this could, this could live here. How much does that storage block use? 250, oh, 24 hour for tick. It's not bad. Um, okay, and then I think we can get like a bucket. Okay, so we've got this latex bucket and then can we just come over here? We can. And so that must have gone into the storage block. Now, my question is, is it, does a fluid storage block hold a single fluid or can it hold multiple? I thought it was a single fluid. It can hold multiple. That is really handy. Okay, so that's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. Um, I guess we leave that in there. Okay, and we got a quest reward for... Oh, picking up latex. Yeah, right. Ooh, that is a nice recipe. I mean, a nice reward. Recipe. Goodness. Okay, cool. So, if we put this fluid interface, or do we not need to? If we have a recipe, this recipe, does it just know? Does it just send it via a crafter? That would be ideal. Um, let's nap so we don't run out of power. And then we're after a, a red laser lens. Oh, it sent it. Oh, that's so simple. Oh, that is awesome. And does it send them one at a time? It does. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I should have done fluid crafting ages ago. Ah, nice. Ooh. <laughs> Not as nice. Not as nice. That draws a lot of power. Okay. Well, neat. That should then let us craft... Oh, once we... Oh, right, we need to teach this recipe. And that's going to get us our first laser focus matrix. Why well, you know export? Because I didn't... I didn't do this. There we go. Perfect. Then we can craft our laser focus matrix. Cool. Cool. Advanced option. Advanced optics for highly focused laser operations. And then now we're looking at the laser drill, and the fluid laser base, and there's going to be some other stuff in here. Power might still be an issue. We saw how much power that drained. So let's let's have a think about where we go to from here. Okay, so. A little bit confused as to where we go to from here because it kind of seems like there's a little bit of a circular dependency. I'm sure there's not, I just haven't quite figured it out yet. So laser drill itself uh, does require nitro crystals which means we have to go do some more blood magic. Blazing crystals we can already make. So that's that's a thing that just has to happen. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, silver machine frame, I think we're making all of this stuff so that's kind of sweet. Advanced induction cells. It does require niotic crystals, which is a little bit more astral sorcery. All right, all right. Uh, no, we can craft that. Oh, we can actually craft them already. So that's not too bad. We could actually go that route. Um, Harp graphite. Okay, so we have to. We have to make one of these. We don't have a choice. 
Um, so I don't think it's so much the laser draw itself is the problem, it's the fluid laser base. Oh, there we go. That makes sense. I take it back. Because uh, I was looking at this recipe, which needs an advanced machine frame, which needs molten pink ender slime, which needs pink slime that you get from a widow that requires the laser drill. Right, but we need the Starlight Crafting Altar version. Okay, we need to do the Blood Magic Tartaric Gem. Um, we've produced this stuff, this isn't too bad. Um, we need to teach the recipe for that, although we've got all the stuff for that. That's that's fine, that's fine. That's not too bad. Uh, but power... power. <laughs> we really need to look at uh, improving our power generation. And now we could... We could craft a whole bunch of solar panels. And... Craft a whole bunch more energy cells. And then just have that running all the time. But I wouldn't mind Powers Reactor. Reactor. There we go. Yeah, I knew we were missing that. So we're missing this thing. Which I think we've done now. Uh, like we can get those God Shards. A Jar of Voiding. That's Obsidian Dust in a Jar. That's simple. And it's just a Foliate. So we can... We could make... A, ni a niotic reactor. However, what does that run on? Because <laughs> it used to run on urine a night. Ah. Ooh. Which we can get from a bee. Right, so we have to do this this route. Requires fluorite dust. I think we have a whole butt ton of fluorite. And sulfur as well. Yeah, we've got plenty of sulfur and uranium uranium bees would be the go, right? We can get that from uranium honeycomb. And a uranium bee just sounds cool. And that's just an obsidian bee and a silver bee. We might already have them. So we get a couple of uranium bees. And I think oh, it'd be cool to have like a, a nuclear reactor set up. I do I do enjoy building nuclear reactors. So I think that's gonna be the ticket. I don't. I think this should uh, blocks of niotic crystals, but that was that wasn't too bad. Right. Let's let's start with that. And the bee breeder, or the apiary, the breeder upgrade. No, we need the breeder itself first, and we couldn't make that before because we didn't have. Oh, I think it was just the token of joy. Apiary storage. A bee breeder, nice. And that was a quest. Do we get something cool from that? A honey cookie. Holding five. Holding five's not bad, depending on what you put it on. Okay. Um. So, obsidian bee must be living in here. Obsidian bee, lock you. Silver bee, lock you. Let's add in. I mean, I guess we just. We do that. Apiary breeder. Ah, cool, 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 cool. So we grab our obsidian bee. We grab our silver bee. Apiary breeder, silver bee, obsidian bee, silver obsidian. Oh, plus a jar. Okay. Uh, let's grab. One of these. And then what? That's happening. Slowly happening. What if we... Okay, what if we... Okay, no, time in the bottle doesn't seem to affect that. But eventually... Oh no, that seems faster. There we go. Where'd he go? Wait, where did the bee go? Did that end up over here? There. Whoa. <laughs> okay, and I think actually, let's get a second one. 
and then we can just breed from them. Cool, so six uranium bees should be pretty nice. Um, just gonna have to uh, tactically put them in different uh, apiaries. We're actually probably getting maybe too many bees in each apiary where the, we're actually gonna start sort of suffering because bees are gonna have to be like waiting in line to, to get in there. That should be okay, we should start eventually. And they were fully grown uranium bees too. And we should eventually start getting uranium honeycombs. Uranium honeycombs, cool. There we go, there's a uranium chunk. So then we say that goes, if we've got a spare slot, just. And that should get extracted. Uh, and then eventually we'll get niotic. Sorry, we'll eventually get uraninite and that can just sit in there. Neat, so that should hopefully be uranium kind of taken care of for a little bit. I'm not I'm not saying that it's definitely gonna keep up, but at least we've got passive uranium being generated. But you know what? I think we'll leave it there. We've got that uh the rest of that crafting to do. I might do some of it off camera. Um, we'll do some of the more interesting stuff on camera though. Uh, but I would like to build build like a, a nuclear power plant. Or well, at least start it. I don't know. We've still got the factory to finish. I still haven't finished putting on the roof. So it shouldn't take on too many building projects all at once. But hey, uh, I think next time power generation is going to be the go. It'll be interesting to see if those bees keep up. But we can't see. But hey, it's been Classic Dove. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.